Okay, let's dive straight in and finish up this page. So on the sign up button, if I edit the workflow again, I said that we would come back to the option where we need to send an email to confirm an email. And this is also something that Bubble takes care for us. Just in the background, what's going to happen is that there will be sent an automated email with a link that will then click the link and then be taken to this particular page. And it's at that stage that Bubble knows this person is a probably a real person because that email landed in someone's inbox and they clicked this particular link, okay? So we're going to check this box, but we need a page here. So we will create a new page. This will be called email confirmation. We'll create that and then let's select it. Now we're not going to design this page or do anything further with it. We'll get back to that when we actually sign someone up. The next thing I'd like to do is some responsive design guides. So let's pop over to the responsive tab. And this is going to be a very straightforward one. On the responsive tab, please click on the 1200 breakpoint, then double click on this group column. Over on the layout tab, I'd like you to first select collapse when hidden because we're going to hide this at a certain width. So let's set up that condition to hide this column. On the conditionals tab, we're going to define another condition. Like from section one, we're going to use a page width condition. Type in page to bring up current page width, less than sign. And I'm going to choose 768. I'm going to choose the option bubble gives me. And then I'm going to select the drop down to say below 768, I'd like you to hide this column, please. And then Flexbox will sort out what needs to happen with this particular column. And what will happen is that it will span the full width and will be nice and centered for a mobile phone. Okay, so now I'm going to click these breakpoints. So let's have a look. So there is, we are going to run into a small issue that's easy to fix, but I'd like to demonstrate what that is. So if I click on 992 and you do the same, the design still looks great. Renders well, got some padding around here, even though we actually haven't set any padding. But now if I choose 768, now we're running into some problems here. So we need to provide some left, right padding in this group container. So double click the group container to bring up the property editor. Then on the layout tab, so scroll to the very bottom and let's just set up some left, right padding of 16 and 16. Why 16 and 16? Because we're down to mobile phone width and we want more real estate, okay? We don't want a huge amount of padding left and right. And then now if I bring this handle down a bit, we can see what happens down to 375. Nice and neat, edge to edge, easy to use. Okay, folks, just a short lesson. We're done now on the sign-up page. Well, we're done for now. We do need to come back uh, and continue to work on our sign-up workflows. But before we do that, I also want to set up the login page because from a design perspective, it's almost done. We just need to change one or two things and then add a password reset pop-up as well. And then we'll jump back into the logic, sign some users up uh, and continue building. So I'll see you in the next lesson.